Uh, hi everyone. Uh, the reason for this video I'd like to share with you one of the best view I have ever seen in my life from a hotel. Uh, currently I'm attending a conference at Denver, Colorado and I have never seen such beauty uh, from my from my hotel window. Okay, so I'd like to share with you this substation. This substation actually it looks to me under construction. Okay, this is the incomer side. There is no any high voltage line connect to it. Okay, and in the far end there is the transformer to step down. As you may know, substations actually are used to step down the voltage from transmission or sub-transmission to the primary distribution level voltage. So uh, from here we could have 230 kV, 132 kV, and then at the output you could have 69 kV or 33 kV and so on and so forth. Okay, so let me take you uh, and try to explain the different components of that substation as we start from the beginning here. So at the beginning you need to measure the voltage and the current and to measure the, the voltage we use what we call the CVT capacitive voltage transformer this is the CVT so it's basically two things in one it's a capacitive divider reduces the voltage to certain level and then there is a transformer that step down the voltage further so that it can be measured inside the substation also we have the current transformers and these current transformers are basically used to measure the current so it steps down the current to a safe level so that it can be measured inside the substation now this insul post insulator this is not an insulator basically uh, this is a surge arrestor and the surge arrestor it's a nonlinear resistance it's basically used to protect the substation from any any lightning now let's move further here and go here what we'll see is a three-phase disconnector. Uh, usually these disconnectors are open, just need to open the circuit to uh, interrupt the power, but usually we open them when the system or there is no power coming to the, uh, to the substation, because if you open them under load conditions, there will be a lot of arcing inside. But sometimes we do open them under when the system is energized, but they are not meant to do that. And also they are not meant to interrupt the fault current. How we can interrupt the fault current and the load current regularly, we have another device which is the circuit breaker. Let's look here. This is the circuit breaker. And the circuit breaker here, this is an SF61. And if you look carefully here at the bottom of the bushing, you will see like a donut shape. This is a current transformer. This the objective of this current transformer is to sense the current. And if it exceeds certain value, it will send a signal uh, through the relay to the breaker to interrupt the, the circuit. And then here we have another dis disconnector. So basically here you see two disconnectors, one at the beginning or the starting of the breaker and one at the end. And this is very, very common. And when we open from both sides to completely disconnect the breaker from any uh, power so that we can do some maintenance on it then we see this mesh of connectors what is the objective of this to explain this you can see here at the back there are three transformers and almost everything is actually repeated so basically this this substation has three parallel branches now, sometimes I need to connect one branch, two branches, three branches together. So these disconnector switches is to connect, disconnect in between the substation itself. So you can see here, these switches currently are open. But of course, as I mentioned to you, there is no power connected uh, to this substation. And then at the end, we have my favorite part, which is the transformer that do the step down. Again, as you can see at the beginning of the transformer, there is still the CVT, the capacitive voltage transformer, to measure the voltage that enter the transformer. We have here again another surge arrestor to protect the transformer from any lightning. Then we have the high voltage bushings. And then you have the other side here, you see the low voltage bush bushings. 
and you see all these cables coming out of it this is to feed the primary circuit of the distribution system now if you look a little bit on the transformer here you see what we call the conservator here this is when the oil expands it needs some space to expand it goes up in the in the transformer we have also the radiators you can see them and these radiators are basically uh, for cooling the the transformer winding so this is a very interesting substation the nice thing about it that we have a clear view uh, for the different parts of it i really enjoyed the view and i hope that you did the same thing